usually the VLOOKUP formula in Excel works very well, and we could enter a product code, and the VLOOKUP formula would return the product name or price for that product code. But in this example, we've typed a code here. We can see that code in the table, but the VLOOKUP is returning an NA error. And in the formula bar, you can see that VLOOKUP formula. We're referring to the value in B8, looking up in the code column, and asking for the value in the second column. So it should be giving us the product, but it isn't. So we'll do a bit of troubleshooting to see what the problem is and how we can solve it. Now, sometimes the problem is things that look the same on the worksheet aren't really a match. We'll see if what we typed in B8 is really a match for what's in B2. So in this cell, I'm going to just do a simple test. I'll click here, type an equal sign, and then click on B2, another equal sign, and B8. And it's coming back false, so there's something different about these values. If I click on B2, I can see an apostrophe at the start of that number. So it's been entered as text. So maybe this was a download from another file and it's stored as text there. If I click on B8, there's no apostrophe. So this is a number and the number is not equal to the text, which would have a value of zero. So how can we fix this? If we select all these cells, one way to fix it would be to change all of these to numbers so they match the values we're going to type in here as numbers. And to do that, I can go to the ribbon on the Data tab, click Text to Columns. When this comes up, just click Finish. That's automatically changed all of these to numbers. And you can see that our VLOOKUP is working correctly now. So it's showing me that 123 is the product called Paper. In some cases, you can't change your lookup table, so we can change our lookup formula. Here we have VLOOKUP B7, so whatever's in B7, look up in this table, and it can't find this number because this is text. So we'll change this lookup to text. I've clicked after the B7, and I'll type an ampersand, which on my keyboard is Shift 7 and then two double quotes, which is just an empty string. So now this used to be a number. When we add an empty string, it's going to automatically become text. I'll press enter, and now what's entered as a number here, it's converted that to text so it matches what's in here. You can add an empty string in your VLOOKUP formula to convert numbers to text so the lookups work correctly.